Hi everyone, it's been a while so I thought I would do a little life update, what's going on, what's happening, how manic it is right now with Covid vaccines and all that jazz. So first things first, I'm still loving life, I love my job and everything is pretty great, pretty much. But I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I'm very busy right now, I'm not going to lie. At the minute I do part time now at my new GP surgery and the team are lovely, it's amazing, it's going really well, they're so supportive. I'm almost at the end of my foundations of general practice nursing course. I've got like a month left I think now, hasn't that gone fast guys? That has gone so fast, it's been, yeah, it's been wow it's it's gone really fast but so what have i got left to do i've got uh four competencies that i need to finish which hopefully won't take long i've got half of my assignment left to finish which is 1700 and 500 words but the second half of it's the easier half so well i'm praying it's the easiest half but I, it looks quite simple i don't think i'm going to have a problem with doing that half of it because it's about myself it's a bit like an, a reflection and how i've built as a general practice nurse so i think that should be quite simple um to link in with all my competencies and things like that not worrying about that and then i've got the my last five smears i've only got five smear tests to do and then i've got my assessment at the end of february and then i'm done for smears i'll be signed off and yeah i'll be well away with my smears i'm also now looking into doing some extra courses because i'm a sucker for learning apparently um so the one thing that i want to do is the sexual health uh, diploma uh because i haven't got an official a qualification in this I've, I've done all the e-learning i used to work in sexual health for nearly six years i've got all the knowledge there it's just getting that official diploma that i really really want to get um because not only that it's going to give me a lot more knowledge as well in the subject as well as putting everything into practice as a gp nurse and things like that and i'll be able to do a lot more like implants and potentially coils one day who knows but yeah there's just little things that i want to add on now to that and the next thing I want to do when I finish this course is apply and do a PG cert in um, education or do a master's in um, nursing education, I think it's called, or, something, or healthcare education, something like that. But something that's going to enable me to teach and do more teaching, which oh, I'm really excited about. It's something I really, really want to do now. Um, obviously not quit my job. I'm going to keep my GP job, but I'm going to hopefully do the extra qualifications and do it um, the days that I'm not at work. So doing it here and there and bit by bit and incorporate it with my everyday job. So yeah, doing the two things that I love. So yeah, so I have a very clear career path in front of me that I want to do, my little steps to get me there. Um, and it's all looking up, to be honest. It's all looking up so far, fingers crossed. Um, but other than that, what have I been up to? It's been absolutely manic. I cannot lie. I'm exhausted, guys. It's so busy right now. And I don't help myself because I'm taking on a lot more than I should. Um, but I love doing it. So that's why I do it because I love it. I get a sense of achievement out of it and it keeps me motivated. So what I do. So I, I said I'm working part time in, in my GP surgery. I do 23 hours there. I am picking up extra hours, so I do Saturday COVID vaccine clinics now, just a little add-on to my days. I'm also going to be doing um, a couple of Thursdays as well. Thursdays is normally my day off, but um, we've got a nurse leaving our clinic, sadly. So I've said I'll help out and I'll do a Thursday shift for the next few weeks. Um, so I will be doing that. As well as that, I am part of the COVID support nurse team. Um, and this is working alongside the public health team and we're targeting specific areas. So we will provide infection control training and that extra COVID support for testing and guidelines and things like that to places like care homes, residential homes, nursing homes, um, places with extra support like learning disabilities to nurseries. Anywhere like that in the community, we are doing that sort of stuff and it's been really busy. At the minute, it's more like email support and phone calls, that's it, and online training. So we'll deliver like the donning and doffing of PPE and things like that to them just to make sure that they've got everything that they need and staying well and keeping their residents and their staff safe. 
And apart from that, I am also, as some of you know, I'm a general practice nurse and ambassador. I'm the vice chair now of the GPN SNN group. You can find us on Twitter. We've got a new Facebook page incoming. We've got a new Facebook page. I'm going to put the links below. If anyone wants to join our private, it's a private Facebook page. Um, I'll put the link below, but make sure you answer. There's three questions to answer at the start. Make sure you answer every single question or you won't be let in. It's it's just it's just the way it has to be because we have to keep it really regulated because we just don't want anyone just walking into our group. Uh, we want to keep it professional for newly qualified nurses and student nurses with a passion for GP nursing. So yeah, if you're interested, links below. Give it a go. So as well as doing that, I still do my webinars for uh, sexual health webinars. They are free to all, whether you're a student, you're a qualified nurse, whoever you are, if you want to join, you come and join. I'm going to put the link below to the page where you can book on the webinars because there's so many webinars on that website that are just going to be amazing for you, like hypertension, ECGs, um, diabetes, asthma, learning disabilities. There's loads on there. So if you're really interested in just gaining a little bit more knowledge, they are very quick, basic webinars like 20 30 minute webinars so it is a very brief one but it's so good for knowledge i learned quite a lot actually from these webinars it's held by um specialist nurses as well in these subjects so they are amazing and yeah join in if you can what else have I been doing? So next on the list, I am part of the Shared Decision Council. Um, this is as part of Ruth May's um, structure and um, it's, I can't say too much about it because of confidentiality and all of that, but basically we are a group of nurses from across the UK. So we're from all over, we're all different levels as well. So me as a newly qualified nurse, and then you'll have more experienced nurses on board. And this is just to talk about what's going on, how we can improve, uh, what positive changes we can make for the future, especially with COVID and the lockdowns and everything like that. We want to make sure that everything's running well and how we can improve this. It's been actually amazing. It's been really, really good to be part of and I've loved every minute. But obviously I can't go into it, can't talk about it, but I can tell you I'm part of it. Um, I can't think of anything else at the minute. Like that's too much anyway. I'm part of so much and doing a lot of bits here and there for everything. It's just manic. I, I get literally, I think, one day off a week now because my time is just completely filled with my job, my extra jobs. I'm doing about three different jobs with my webinars and COVID support and vaccine clinics and my GP nurse and then my course on top. Oh, it's busy, guys. But I wouldn't have it anyone any other way because I love it. But um, yes, Sundays are my days to just do nothing, just chill out, avoid, try and avoid my phone if I can and just do nothing. But it is hard to avoid my phone because I'm addicted to social media, as some of you know, because I reply almost in instantly to most of you. <laughs> if I haven't replied, it's because I've looked at it and then I've gone off to do something, thought I'll reply to that later and then forgot. So if that is the case, message me again. Just keep messaging me until I reply. I will, I will reply. It's just that I've probably looked at it and then got busy at work or something like that and just haven't had the chance to get back to it. So, yes. But yes, please don't ask me to come and do your work for you. That's not going to happen, guys. Come on. You've got to do this. I'm doing it right now. I'm, I'm on a course as well as 101 Things. If I can do this, so can you guys. Come on. You've got this. Come on. And lastly, I'm still waiting to move house. I know. I think I told you uh, a while back few months ago actually that was moving house it's still in process literally this is why i'm not sitting in my window anymore because i'm just i've just used the mess because this is why <laughs> boxes of rubbish so i'm stuck here in the corner or upstairs in the bedroom where it's not as busy um but normally i would sit in front of the window on my little chair and then you'd see all the living room but no stuck with this now guys <laughs> until i move but hopefully in the next few weeks two weeks to three weeks by the end of february i'm hoping i'll be in the new house fingers crossed it's going to be amazing it's so much more spacious the living room's much bigger than this for the dogs they're going to have loads of space it's going to be a massive improvement and it's just down the road from my new job so i can walk to work it'll still take me about five to ten minutes to get there but i can walk to work every day i'm getting in those steps guys it's going to be fantastic i'm really excited um but other than that i haven't really got many other updates i don't think i've got any other updates to tell you 
I just hope you're all coping well with COVID and placements and opting in, opting out. Have you made your decisions yet? Let me know. Um, there is no right or wrong decision. I just want to say this because we had this last time with people opting out and they got so much backlash for it. That's not okay. If you want to opt out, then just opt out. You know, it's you and your personal life and you have to do what's the best for you and your families right now. And if that's opting out, then do it. Don't be ashamed of that. So just put everything in place that's best for you and forget the negative comments. But I hope you're all doing amazing. Keep going, guys. Have a great week, guys.